in this moment, I'm celebrating the fact that we are a global spiritual community. Celebrating all of the diversity of nationalities, perspectives, persuasions, cultures, uniqueness of perspective. And yet, we are here, gathered together by the magnetism of the spirit of the one. Honoring universal being, creating a bridge between disparate communities by being in the presence of love. Can you feel the, the honoring of the universal priesthood that is present here? The universal priesthood that honors universal being. Regardless of how it appears in its outer forms, and we've had some good, hard, painful looks at the, the divisions of those outer forms. I'm thinking of like, kind of like the game of limbo, you know, where every time you go under, the bar goes down lower and lower and you have to get down lower and lower. Well, in the consciousness of the universal priesthood, the bar is becoming more and more wide and more and more expansive. What do we put first that honors the whole, the family of family, the nation of nations, putting the world first before the country, putting Mother Earth first before the world, and putting universal being first? The family of universal being that transcends, includes, unites, experiencing one heart that can see through the eyes of all hearts. The universal priesthood has the ability to bring those who are drunken by the hypnosis of worldly division back to their senses, come back. In you there's love, in you there's universal love. Let there be one nation of nations under the spirit of love and under the spirit of oneness. All else is illusion. There's one reality. That's the reality of universal being, the reality of universal love, the reality of universal brotherhood and sisterhood in the one family. Will we cling to the illusion? Or will we stand as the universal priesthood and demonstrate reality? Let the hum of this universal tone of love sound powerfully through the heart. <clears throat> 